Hello, everyone, and thanks for listening to the Grow Your Life podcast. My name is Jeremiah Krakowski, and I mentor course creators, coaches, trainers, authors, and consultants to make over $20,000 a month using digital marketing and online sales. And in this podcast, we help you with both your mindset and business strategy. Now, I want to help you specifically, if you are a course creator or a coach, how to build and launch your own course and coaching business. We just got done doing a three-day intensive on this process where I spent six hours Hours breaking down this and if you notice me doing another one of these intensives or workshops and want to jump into them you can find them at my website jeremiahkrakowski.com I'd highly recommend it we're we'll go a lot deeper than what I can on just this 20 30 minute podcast episode right here okay and so we're, we break down a lot more of that but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna condense down a lot of what I teach people in that three-day intensive in this podcast episode if you're listening to this, go watch the YouTube version because we're going to be doing some screen sharing as well. Now, I want to talk with you first about why you're getting into this business. First off, it's a great opportunity to make a million dollars. And I mean that by it's it has the lowest cost of entry. You don't have to hire a bunch of people to start and you can make seven figures on your own. You don't have to spend a bunch of money to make the product. It doesn't cost a lot of money for the technology. In fact, most of the technology that you need costs under $100 a month. And really, that's what I love helping people with is that you can get started with a profitable business in this industry with just 100 bucks a month. As you grow, it's going to cost you more than that, right? And as we grow, we spend more money to make stuff easier. You hire staff, you use different resources. We start spending money on advertising, okay? But the first thing that I wanna point out to you is this, is that A, if you wanna get into this business just to make a lot of money, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. And that's what I start with when I help people with this, is making sure that their reasons and intentions for starting are in the right place. You gotta have vision that's bigger than just paying off your bills and family freedom. Now, while that's incredible and having time freedom, being able to pay for whatever you want is incredible. You're not going to get there if that's your only goal and you'll be striving and struggling if that's all you're focusing on. And so you have to think bigger than that. Who do you want to impact? What do they do? If you don't have the answer to that question, then that's where you need to start. And the rest of what I'm going to teach you today is really not going to make a whole lot of sense if you don't have that answer to that question. Okay. So how do you find the answer to that question? Well, that's what we call defining your niche. And this is one of the first areas that I help people with is defining their niche. And then we use that niche. When we say a niche, it's really about who the person is that's going to buy your course, your books, your training programs, and your coaching program. Okay. What problem do you solve for them? And not just problem, but then what solution do you help them own, create, build, manifest, whatever you want to call it? What kind of transformation do you bring in their life? Where are they before they start with you? And where is the best case scenario client after? For me, my best case scenario client is based off of actual testimonies. And that's the thing you want to build case studies. You want to have a library of people that you've actually helped do the very thing that you say you want to do. So if you go over to my website, you can see some of those case studies. For me, I was helping course creators and coaches for years before I started my own business. And my mom is one of the biggest ones that I had helped, helped grow her business to over $20 million in the coaching course and author business. And then we've had some clients that we've helped like Rick Pino go to seven figures in his business. We helped an author named David Englehart get his book to number one on Amazon. We've helped uh, Georgian Banoff enroll tens of thousands of students into his school and master classes with this same system. That's multiple seven figures right there in revenue generated from that. Wesley and Stacey Campbell, hundreds of thousands of dollars in profit through doing this with their coaching program. Dawn, over $25,000 a month coaching people in the health coaching. Danielle, over $25,000 a month. And so that's what I help people do. Even if you've never made 10K or 20K or even 100K a month, by the way, if you make $83,000 and 300, $83,333 a month, that's exactly $1 million, okay? And so... 20,000 a month is a quarter of a million dollars. That's a re realistic goal that I love to help people get to because they can start to hire people for what they don't want to do. And that's then the next phase that you get to is you start outsourcing stuff. You start hiring people. 
I want to help you, whether you're just starting or you've been doing this for a while, break past the plateaus that have held you back. And so one of the number one things is you need to have case studies. If you don't have case studies, what you'll want to do is you'll actually want to give away a lot of your training to develop case studies until you have at least three of them. Then you can start charging if you don't have any. So at least help three people reach the result that you can offer. And that's your case study. Now, here's what's cool though. Most of us, if you've been living on planet earth for a while, you're most of my audience is over the age of 30, at least well, 40, 50 years young. And we help them take what their experience is in their whole life and teach it to other people. And so what have you done your whole life? Better yet, what have a lot of people asked you to help them with throughout your life? That's an area that you can make courses, write a book, sell training programs, and create a coaching program around. And those four things, they kind of encompass the same thing. You might say authorship is different. It's really not. A book is essentially uh, a series of trainings, short trainings put into one piece. And a book is actually more of a marketing piece. It's more of a, a more of a campaign to bring people into your funnel. You're not going to actually make a lot of money off of a book. You'll make a lot of money on the back end of the people who read your book that want to work with you. And this is where a lot of people miss it with books. They're actually more marketing pieces that build authority and trust in you and you reach a whole new demographic. Okay. And so whatever that is, whatever your piece of content is that you're going to put out there, you can package it as a course, as a training program. You can then coach people who have those issues, the problem that you solve and create the solution, and you coach them on the next step to take it further to the top level of what you're doing. And you might have an even higher level where you help people do it for them. And you charge a lot of money for this. When I say a lot of money, I'm talking hundreds of thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars per client. Okay. When I coach people, my coaching rate at this time of this recording, March 20th, is $5,000 minimum to coach with me. Or you can make six payments of $1,000 a month. And I have no other deals cheaper than that that I offer to anybody. And so people got to actually get to the place where they can afford that to even coach with me. All of my courses and training programs and podcasts and blog posts get people to that point. Okay. And so that translates directly for you. Okay. Whatever it is that you want to help people with, you have to identify who's the person, what's the problem they have, what's the solution that I can lead them to, and then you can package that up. Now, this is where a lot of people get caught up is in the mindset of perfectionism, the mindset of overthinking and overwhelm and trying to process, well, which one should I do? Because they're afraid of doing it wrong. They're afraid of spending all this time, wasting time and it not working out. One of the biggest things that I'll tell you is if you have a mentor and you have a coach, you save yourself years of frustration of wasting time and trying to figure stuff out because they will be able to shorten the timeline for you. Okay. And that's what I love doing with my courses, with my coaching programs. When I can dive deep in with somebody and look at their business, I'm able to help them save years off their learning curve of testing and trial and error because we're able to test and try stuff initially. If they take action and this, my friends, is the number one area that most course creators, trainers, authors, teachers, coaches mess it up. They miss it out. They completely right here is usually where they stop. And the reason that they never make a single dime is this right here. They don't have the discipline to do the work. That's it. And they justify it as I don't know what to do. And they tell themselves that when ultimately it comes from a root belief of as is what I'm going to put out there good enough for the market. And if it's not good enough, will I be judged? Will I be hurt? Am I going to lose a lot of money? Is it going to cost me a lot of time? This fear, because for whatever reason we have in our minds that we have to be a certain level of good enough before we're able to do this. I, I'm here to tell you this, my friends, that that's a complete myth in this whole industry. You don't need to be an expert. You don't need to know everything to make seven figures in coaching courses, 
training and writing books. In fact, most of the people I I've worked with a lot of them. I mean, I mean all respect to them and they would even say this. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. The people who make millions of dollars in this industry know a whole lot less than you do about a lot of stuff. They're not as smart as you. They're really not. In fact, the most successful of them are not, they would buy their own testament, say that they're not super smart at all. They just know a very specific area because of repetition. They've been doing the same thing over and over and over and over again enough times. And that's why for me, I've been doing this over and over and over again enough times. But you don't have to have that level of repetition to get started. It takes imperfect action, not letting the mental block of am I good enough and imposter syndrome to self-sabotage you from taking action. And some people that comes from maybe past trauma, maybe some emotional issues that they need to work through. I'm a huge proponent of therapy and working with a therapist through our past trauma. Somebody told us in high school that we weren't good enough if we got the answer to a question wrong. And so then we brought that into our business and then we realized, unless I know all the answers to everything, I better never put myself out there. And that self-sabotage is based off of one piece of a traumatic event. When you can break past those things, when you don't let your feelings limit you and you start taking action, you can accomplish anything. And that's really the foundation that I teach people, that I help people with is foundationally, you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that you can make that amount of money. You have to believe that you have value to bring to people. And if you don't, you need to work on why you don't believe in that. Affirmations is a huge thing. Listen, your heart and your mind don't believe that you're good enough when you start. Most people, it doesn't. So you have to actually retrain your brain that I am worth making a million dollars. I am a millionaire. I am a billionaire, whatever. Listen, we're not going to go put that on social media. We're not going to make that our headline on our website. I am a billionaire. You should listen to me. That would be called fraud. We're not talking about committing fraud here, my friends. But when you tell yourself I am a millionaire. I am attracting millions of dollars in my business. And you start convincing yourself of it and believing it, then your actions follow. If you were making a million dollars in your business, would you show up with a different level of self-discipline? A hundred percent of us would say absolutely. And so when we can start to get into that state and we start to visualize what it would be like, not even making a million dollars, if that's too hard for you, making even just six figures, $10,000 a month visualizing yourself doing that and seeing it in your mind's eye, it changes your feeling. And then you answer this question for yourself. How would I act if this was my reality right now? And then you start acting that way. Now don't get stupid with this and start spending a whole lot of money and going into debt, please. It's not what I'm talking about either. What I'm talking about is the confidence of how you would carry yourself the level of self-belief to show up, to communicate, to not be afraid of whether people think ill of you or not. Ultimately, for you to be successful in this business, you're going to have to develop some thick skin. And that's where most people never get to is because they're trying and seeking so much validation from others. And they're so worried, am I good enough that they don't ever put themselves out there? And here's the number one step an area that I think people need to put themselves out there with is social media. You have to be making at least one video a day on Instagram reels and one video a day on TikTok. bare minimum. That's the action steps that I tell everybody start there. If you're not doing that yet, don't even be doing the rest of anything else in creating your courses. And I have over at my website, jeremichrakowski.com courses all about social media content, what to say. So you know exactly what to say in every situation. Here's a brief thing on that. Who is the person that you're bringing a solution to? What transformation do you bring to their life? And what problem do they have? Make a short 30 second piece of content that will solve their problem for them. And then what you're able to, to identify is, okay, of those people, 
which of those topics do they really like a lot and you can start making more content. Once you make content, you organically through Instagram Reels and TikTok are able to reach millions of people on the internet organically for free by doing this. And then you can retarget those people with very cheap social media ads on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. And those are the three platforms that I show people to use to run campaigns, but you have to have a good offer to send those people to, okay? And so that's what my course Irresistible offers that sell is all about over at my website, jeremichkrakowski.com. And we have a bundle at my website where you can grab all of my courses for $2,000 over at my website. You can grab each course for 500 bucks. If that's too much for you, again, this podcast that you're listening to right now, there's over 150 episodes where we break down individually the different topics that you're dealing with, that you're going through, that you guys need help with, such as growing your email list, such as courageously communicating expectations, creating landing pages, overcoming perfectionism, what you need to know as a coach, online business ideas, transitioning from corporate employee to an entrepreneur, any topic that you can think about on how to sell. And I know that, listen, sales might be a dirty word to some people. We're not talking about high pressure sales here. We're not talking about coercing and intimidating people to buy from us. But when you learn how to sell effectively, you have a business. A business is about money coming in. You have to have money coming in. And my podcast can help you do that absolutely free. And then some of you, you're going to literally listen to that podcast, have results, from the free training on my website, grab my courses and you'll be ready to coach with me. And that's the process that I teach you how to do. You want to use free content to build a value ladder. Okay. So your value ladder starts with your free content, your social media content. You give that away for free to people and you're able to retarget to those people. You're able to reach a wide group of people that you can most likely affect with your content. And you're able to retarget them with offers that you have. And then the next level of offers, you might have a cheap offer for seven bucks. Then you might have $300. You might have a thousand dollar offer. Then you might have a $5,000 offer and even a $25,000 offer. And by the way, that's my value ladder that I have. So my blog posts, my podcast and my social media content are free ways. My YouTube channel has over a thousand videos on it, all on the same topic that course creators, trainers, coaches need to know and, and things that they need to start doing in their business to start to get results. You have an entire library, basically a university for free for you on my social media. And so please follow me on YouTube, go through that podcast. I want to help you start to make more money as a coach and as a course creator. And so it starts by identifying your value ladder, the very bottom level of that value ladder, social media content, TikTok and Instagram reels. You don't need a podcast. You don't need to build your blog out. It all just depends on what your strengths are. If you love writing, then maybe starting with a blog is great. Starting on Facebook might be better for you and write posts out. Okay. Eventually though, you got to grow in the skill set of communicating with your mouth, your face, showing up with your face online, connecting with people and building trust with them in order to get them to buy your programs. Okay. Now you might say, well, what do I offer people? Okay. That's your offer. So we start with who the person is you, we identify your niche, who they are, what problem you solve. Okay. And everything that you do, all of your offers are based on the result that you can bring them. Now your offer is different from your social media content in this sense. Your social media content is going to talk about a wide range of stuff that your target customer that can help them a wide range of stuff from mindset to technical skills, to, to the basics, to communication, to the lifestyle, all of that. Okay. But your offer needs to be a beeline to the result that you get them. And so my offers are all about how do you create and grow a profitable course and coaching business to seven figures. So what is yours? What do you, what transformation do you bring to people? I take people that have never done it before and turn them into seven figure earners in the course and coaching business and help every step of the way with what I offer. And so then I create offers around that, around the strategic problems that attract people, the hook that they deal with. So one of the number one things is people just want to know how to build it. People want to just know, how do I get started? 
So I use that as my main hook that I bring people in with and then I make an offer to my courses. So generally I'll make an offer to go buy the bundle of all my courses on my website, okay? If you're listening to this right now, you might see different offers that I put out there from time to time, maybe different sales that we run or different emails that we put out there. Because my courses dive deeper into all of these steps. So you might have a lot of questions that you're like, okay, Jeremiah, how do I do all of that stuff that you talked about? My courses cover that social media ads, building your offer, identifying your niche, creating your course, building a coaching program, creating social media content to build a business that's sustainable and start to get more customers. And then when I coach people, I help move them into a place of I'm coming alongside them with their messaging and their copywriting and their ads. And we work together on exactly how do we build this thing to seven figures? How do we build this thing to six figures? How do we build this thing to our first sale? Even I have people I coach with, they've never made a sale before. And so we start there. Okay. So you got to build an offer out around who the person is. So for me, I identify who my target customer is, coaches and course creators. They want to build and launch a course and coaching business. That's the name of this podcast episode. By the way, sneakily, this podcast episode is an offer in and of itself, just getting you to listen to it. The name of it is the best offer that I've ever put out there. And so by you going through this, you're literally getting the entire blueprint of the business model that I help people with right here in this podcast episode. And this is after trial and error time and time and time and time again of me teaching it to people, helping people, working on it, improving it. And now I'm finally putting it into a podcast episode. And so you build an offer based on who the person is, build and launch your own course or coaching business. Who is the person that's to? course and coaching business people that are just getting started that want to build launch and scale and get results with their business okay so that's who i help who do you help then your offer is based around that now there's a really cool tool that's going to help you create offer language and identify your niche and your copy and put together your offers and your headlines it's one of my favorite tools it's called jasper.ai and so I'm actually going to put a link in the comments here to a free trial of Jasper.ai that you can try it out and it'll actually help you. It uses artificial intelligence to create content for your social media, your website, your blog, your landing pages. And so we use it for all of our marketing copy. Some of the best marketers in the world endorse it right here on their website. And it, it's a co -pi That's exactly what it is. A co-pilot that's writing for you for your offers that helps you do your sales emails and your sales pages. And I walk you through how to put all that together. And so what we're able to do is we're able to load up into Jasper who our customer is, what they want, and it'll build headlines for us and offers. Then what you want to do is you want to put together some kind of a way to capture people's email address. Okay. So usually it'll be for either it'll be like a three day event or a five day event of some kind, a free event that people can log into you with, or maybe a one day event that's 30 minutes or an hour long, where you're basically doing what I'm doing like here in this podcast episode, and you, we call that like a webinar. And in that webinar, in that web training, you teach people what they need to know that leads directly to what you sell, what your offer is, what your sales offer is. So you have a free offer that gets people in, it grows your email list. Your email list is the only asset that you can own. And so you don't own your social media content, but you do own your email list. So you wanna pull people then off of the social media to your email list, so then you can connect with them, start to build a relationship and have conversations with them, and then start to sell to them what it is that you sell. And again, this is the part where a lot of people, they get to this stage and then they, they pause. There's, there's usually two stages where most people that I work with get overwhelmed, stop, panic, and don't make results. The first stage is they get really stuck wondering what they should build a business around, what niche, who they serve because they're afraid. The second is if they're not afraid, they identify that they build it all out and then they don't get any sales because they're not running promotions to offers. They're not connecting with people. So the number one thing that you need to start doing is promote, promote, promote. 
Gone are the days where people just find you because you have something really good out there. Gone are the days that people just find you because you're awesome. Back when the internet started, nobody was online and that worked. Now you have to promote yourself and reach people. And what we use is social media ad campaigns. So we put our free offers out there. We run social media ad campaigns to bring people into our ecosystem that we've never met before. And the whole process is building trust with them. You want to build trust with people about you, your product, and your company through what you talk about, through what you teach people. And I've demonstrated how to do that today. If you're still listening to this podcast episode, there's a level of trust and buy-in that you've said, yeah, I'm really interested in what he's talking about. And I really want to learn how to do this. I'd love to work with you. I'd love for you to listen through the episodes or go buy some of my courses on my website, or maybe schedule a discovery call with me and we can talk about one-on-one coaching together. Okay. So with that, your goal is to build trust with strangers that you've never met before on the internet. You bring them into your ecosystem with the words that you say, again, Jasper AI will help you write the words. If you struggle to know what the words to say are that build trust with people that sell them, that, that are persuasive that influence people to buy from you. There's a certain words that you say that you put together. One of my favorite books on this topic, for those of you that just that want to check out a really great book on this topic, The Way of the Wolf by Jordan Belfort. Again, this is all about no pressure sales and doing it ethically. If you know Jordan's story, he was the star of The Wolf of Wall Street, which is about how he basically conned a bunch of people into making billions of dollars on Wall Street. Then he went to prison, got his act together and wrote a book that's all about ethical sales by doing it the right way and how you should do it the right way and not do it to defraud people. But the methodologies work, the methods of how you connect with people. By the way, I've been using everything that he teaches in this book in this podcast episode today. How do you build trust with people? How do you cast vision? You want people to see in their mind's eye what it's like to work with you before they ever work with you. Okay. Now, how do you know that your offer, your product, your service, your coaching, whatever that is, is good enough to put out there? That's a, that's a big question that I have for people. Again, you have to stop using language of good enough in this industry. I want you to realize that you are good enough right now, just as you are. You don't have to change who you are to be good enough. How do we know it's good enough? We do testing, social media content. We test, how is this responding to people? How are they resonating? So you have to actually put yourself out there to the crowd and see the reactions that they give you. And by the way, when you usually do this initially, you're not going to get the reaction that you want. That's okay, and that's by design but you have to keep doing it. You have to keep showing up, putting offers out there. Then you have something to sell people, a course, a coaching program, a book, something that you've created, okay? In my course, Easy Course Creation Blueprint, I walk you through how to create courses. In my course bundle, which is on sale right now for $497 on my website, but the price does go up on Tuesday, March 22nd. So it's not going to be that much anymore. I have a new course that I've created called transformational coaching made simple about creating coaching programs. And you can grab this bundle and it walks you through everything that you need to successfully build a coaching and course business, running ads, creating offers, creating coaching programs, creating courses, building your website and, and using, we use Squarespace for our website. It's 19 bucks a month. It's very easy. You don't need a lot of technical knowledge to put it together. My website is built on Squarespace. When you put that all together, you identify who are you helping? How can you help them? You build out an offer and you create a course that teaches people those things. So when you're making a course, you're going to go through, what are the steps that I can help people with? How do you identify that? Your social media content helps you identify that type of stuff. What are people asking you for help for? What's one of the biggest areas that people need help with? And you teach that in your course. You start by mapping it out on a Google doc. This is literally the first step of every course I've ever created. You map it out in a Google doc. You record the first lesson, even if you don't have the rest figured out and you start there and then you start 
adjusting your Google Doc as you're recording your lessons. Now you have a product that you can sell as a course. We use a platform called thinkific.com to sell courses online. There might be some of you that are listening to this. You're like, Jeremiah, get to the meat of this and tell me how to make a course. Well, this website, thinkific.com is how you do it. And I'm not a, an affiliate with them at all. But this is one of the cheapest and best. I like that cheap and best platforms out there for selling online courses. So we use this for our courses. 39 bucks a month will get you started. I have the pro version right here. And you're able to sell unlimited courses to people as well as your coaching programs through thinkific.com. So we use that to sell our courses. And they walk you through how you put this together. You literally record the videos, create titles for it, and upload it to their platform. And then they give you a, a way to take credit cards right there built into the platform where people can pay you. So then what you do is you put together your offer that leads people to what you have to sell and you repeat that process by finding new people with campaigns, running ads, sending them to your offer, and then sending them what you have for sale. Now there's a whole lot more nuance to this that I haven't been able to cover in just 30 minutes right now. I don't really wanna talk more than 30 minutes on that, but that is the whole process that you use. You find people through campaigns online, you bring them to an offer that you have, and you sell them on what they can buy, and then you connect with them for further coaching and you can build out coaching based off of what's next after your course. So with coaching, you're not teaching people, you're actually guiding them and asking more questions. You're doing a lot less talking than you do in a course. In a course, in a podcast, you're training, you're teaching. When you coach people, you're asking questions and letting them do all the talking. And then you give answers strategically based off of what their desires are to guide them in the right direction. And that, my friends, is how you build and launch a successful course and coaching business that's profitable. And then you can scale it. And that's that's a whole other topic in and of itself is scaling. How do we take all of that and grow that to seven figures? You take a look at, okay, what do people want more of? We develop new offers and new products and we repackage stuff in a different way that further connects with people better and we keep iterating new versions that connect with people. And then you're able to scale that out. You find better messaging, better language. Again, trial and error testing. And a lot of what you're going to find when you go to seven figures is what are you really good at? What do you have a passion for? What do you love doing that you could wake up any day and do rolling out of bed with your eyes closed? And that's what helps you. You can scale to a seven figures. Okay. So listen, if you're somebody that is starting in this business that wants to build and launch your own course or coaching business, check out the courses at my website, jeremiahkrakowski.com. If you're not ready for those, check out the podcast episodes on this podcast. I'd love to work with you. I'd love to help you build your business. Consider coaching with me one-on-one -on -one, and let's work to build your business together. Grow your life, everybody. And we'll talk soon. Have a good one.